Fishing Nation, what's going on? It is Wednesday, August 2nd. I am shooting down here to Ventnor, New Jersey. My secret beach location, Ventnor, secret. Getting sand fleas, guys. I'm supposed to go out on the kayak today. And honestly, I punked out. I just, I punked out. I should have went. Turned out it was a nice day. I was going to go down to uh, Strathmere and Corson's, uh, Corson's Inlet State Park, and I didn't do it. So, I'm disgusted with myself. I'm like, it's, I'm so disgusted. I can't even stand myself. I'm like, what am I going to do? I'm like, well, let me take my new clam rake that I just got. Clam rake. My sand flea rake. Let's uh, take a rocket ride down to the shore and uh, see how it works. Because the one I had the other day, that one I bought, was horrible. So this one worked, I uh, think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be uh, A-OK. -okay. So it uh, looks good. Anyhow, let's see what we do. I'm going to go get some sand fleas. Like, subscribe. Say your prayers to the man upstairs. Get off the couch. Go out and do something outside. Let's go crabbing. Bunch of wiggly little critters in there, aren't they? Alrighty, righty, B-Stat Fishing Nation, this turned out to be a good day. Let's see how we got all these little crabs. All righty, B-Stat Fishing Nation, I punked out this morning. I'm such a, I'm just such a punk. I was supposed to go out my kayak today. In Strathmere, I didn't go. Probably could have gone down to the boat when all sure. Looks absolutely gorgeous out there, although, yeah, you know, looks nice here. Listen, so we got this uh, big full moon I'm down here on the beach in Ventnor and uh, I am going to uh, dig for sand fleas. I was basically sitting home totally bored out of my gourd so I'm going to give this a shot see um, see how I make out here kind of got a spot that I've been working um, give it a shot see what happens here right Worst case scenario is I don't catch anything. I got a new sand flea rake, and uh, it might be coming back. I'll tell you right now, I'm not. I'm still not liking this one. I, this will be my second one, and uh, it might go back. I'm not sure. I got it off of Amazon, and you know about Amazon returns. So I'll give it a one once over, see if it works, and then uh, I might be going right back to my my buddies down at Tight Lines Bait and Tackle and getting another one all right stick around so you know you'll hear so the sun's high in the sky it's uh I guess it, what time is it it is 20 or 3 on wednesday august 2nd and they say you're supposed to kind of look up and down the beach have the sun in your face and you could actually see where the sand fleas are at i call bull crap i've tried it i can't see them so basically what i'm going to do is just i'll start raking I've definitely found that I could find them in the water uh, where the water's ankle to knee deep as opposed to uh, in these areas over here. And um, I'm going to give it a shot, see what happens. Got my stupid little bucket. I actually need something I could hang this bucket on. That's what I should have done. I need to hang my bucket on something. So. I might just hang it on my belt. Not sure how that's going to work. Yeah, that's not going to work. All right, let's just get in here, stop complicating things, and let's find us some free bait. What do you think? See how long it takes me to break this. This. Ooh, that's cold. How long it takes me to break this uh, rake? So it's just a matter of starting to find them. Oh, guys, guess what? I like my rake already. Not 30 of them, but there's uh, enough. And I just and I just pulled a crab out of there. <laughs> oh yeah! Come on, buddy. So, so far, I like my rake. Oh, I lost a crab. That little sand fee. That little guy thought he was going to get away. Not today, buddy. Not today. B Stab is on patrol. Now, here's the thing. I need not to get bit by this little crab I just unearthed. We'll go like this. We'll just dunk these guys. 
right my little all right we so i got some small ones in here um intermediate size ones i like the real small ones are no good this is pretty big that's about as big as they'll get we got some little guys in here let me see let me see this little guy right here if i can get him come on pal so this little guy right here ah he's actually pretty good but we're gonna let him go let the other ones go shake him out do it again let's make another pass All you're doing, you're raking, and you're just letting the sand sift through. Oh, man. All right, so I cut them in half. So, guys, sometimes you'll cut them in half, and uh, don't throw them out. Keep them. But guess what? Big big half of one, when you're running out of bait, a half a sand flea is better than no sand flea. That's, that's my thought process. When you find them, stay in the area. Because usually there's there's a colony. Stick your toes in the water, see if you can find any more. But you would just want to rinse this, right? Turn this around, rinse it out, rinse it out. I got a whole bunch of little ones in there. And I think I got a half a big one. Let's see what we did here. Yep, I pierced a couple of them. So but again, this one here got I might have jacked him up. I'm keeping them because they're fine on the on the hook. They're going to be dead anyway. All right? Oh, that's a shedder. That one's soft. That's a shedder. Get rid of it. Get rid of the small ones. Let's go back at them. Oh. You just let it rinse. Let it rinse. Man, I'm, that's another little crab. He's coming with me too. I'm absolutely going to keep that crab. All right, a bunch of little samples. So I need to start moving around. See if I can find uh, some bigger, bigger uh, sand fleas. Now I got to get this crab off of here without getting myself bit. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. All right, let's see what we got here. Can I get him? This guy's holding on for dear life. Yeah, you can hold. Ah, your sister's ass has got me. Little bastard. Oh, now you lost it. You lost it, an arm. <laughs> That's what you get. You messed with the wrong, wrong YouTuber. All right, stick around, guys. Let's get a little water. All right. So we'll keep keep what we're catching up here on the the water's edge. Tide's still going out. It's just about just about a low tide. Just about dead low. And I might be able to try up in here. Just about dead low. Keep this here. Let's dump, let's get these and dump these. Got there. See what we got. And let's dump them. Dump them right in the bucket. Let them sit there and live. Happy little life. Let's get back at it. I'll, uh, I'll try to keep a heads up for any of the sites to come by. You know, gotta build the algorithms, right? All right, let's try up here. So the water's really not coming up here much, but you never know. Like, you know, I've seen some guys come up, hit up here. I definitely see something moving right here. So I can grab at it. Guess we just found a sand flea. I saw him digging back in. Let's see if there's anything in this uh, pass that I just made. The only thing is, by doing it up there, then I gotta constantly walk back and forth into the wash. So, wash them out, wash them out. Well, I got a couple in there. Got a couple good ones. Uh, one good one. Let's see. One good one. Put him, put him in the bucket. We go back to work. Get rid of the ones that don't count. Let's rake and wake, baby. Let's see what we got here. Guys, I'll tell you what, this is easier than doing using a I was using a cat litter scoop. A metal cat litter scoop. 
and uh, you're definitely covering more ground here than, than doing what I was doing before. Let me jump them out and grab them. All right. Oh, I see a half a dead one. You keep him. Listen, if they're dead, they're going to be dead anyway when I'm using them. Just saw another dead one rolling around in the surf. Oh, I missed them. I lost them. I see them. Give it another shot right here. What do you think? I'm feeling, oh, I'm feeling the mother load here. I don't know why. I just got that feeling. Yeah. Mother load. I got a half a crab. I got the mother load all right. Grab him. Set this down for a second. Again, guys, half a crab, right? I could still put that on a hook. I could still put that on a hook. What do we got in there? Anything? Uh, no, oh, there's another one. Get some big, big ones. That's a big one. Shake those little legs. Come on. My tight line's bait and tackle little box here. Little tackle box for a little uh, bait bucket. Tight lines bait and tackle. Summers Point, New Jersey. They have, give them a call. You know, when you when you lay into them and you get you do well, they're in a colony. So you want to go kind of like forward and backward of that colony side to side. Work around that colony where you might have just you know hit hit a good bunch. The problem is too, I'm sitting here walking. So while I'm walking, I'm they're 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 jumping down, they're diving. So if I don't get another one on this one, nope, I'm gonna move. Gotta move because they feel they feel me uh, walking so let's slide over here a little bit let's slide right here what do you think get a shot right here oh pay dirt pay dirt got this one coming off get him off i got another crab a uh, couple good couple sand for these couple crabs all right we made out pretty good on this one one, two, three in this corner, big, big sand fleas. All right, one, two, three. Put them in there, blah, boop. Now, this crab, I think I took off one of his arms. So I'm gonna get him on the other arm. Hopefully he doesn't have his other arm. Good. Guys, that's gold. That's gold right there. And uh, half a sand flea, better than no sand flea, right? Remember, if you cut them in half, if they're decent size, keep them. Because they're feeling me. These things feel you 15, 20 feet away and they start diving down. So these things will feel you. They'll sense your motion in the sand 15, 20 feet away. So I did learn something about that though. As I'm walking in that ankle shin deep water, as the water was receding, as the tide was pulling out, sure enough, I'm watching them jump up and scurry. So I went right to where the little ones, seemed like the little ones popped out more than the big ones. But where there were little ones, there were big ones. East uh, Fish Nation, we're uh, doing pretty good here. Doesn't look like a lot, but eh, guess what? There's, there's a bunch more coming in. Coming at you, baby. Oh, that works. That works for me. These stabbers, little by little, little by little. They say, like you said, if you look down here, you'll see the little eyes, you'll see like the colony sticking up. I, I don't know how true that is. I see something that, that's a catch in my eye. I'm gonna see when this water recedes, if I see it again. Yep. I don't know if it's true or not, but I do know that if you're gonna do anything, you gotta get in there fast because right now they feel my steps already. They already felt my steps. So I don't know. I don't know how true this stuff is. I think I saw one in there. All right, now we need some water. Come on, baby, shake it off. Guess what, guys? 
That was a colony. <laughs> That's so. How about that? So I did see what I saw. That's great. One, two, pulling three out of there. Wait, three. three yeah, three. There's three good ones. Another big one coming out if I can get to them. Stuck in the corner. Get in there, get in there, get in there. All right, where'd you go? Oh, there you are. You're in the corner. Nobody puts baby in a corner. Nice size. So I did see what I saw. How about that? Shake her off. What we got? Jackpot. Jackpot. We got two. We got three. We got halves. Don't waste the halves. You just killed them. Listen. You just kill them halves and they're big enough to keep them. There's guys literally that'll come down at night. No, they really know what they're doing. They probably have whatever beaches they go to and uh, a couple scoops and they're done for the night. Literally done for the night. These little pipers, whatever they are, little viffle sniffles. Oh, got a good feeling about this one. I already see them in there. I already see them. I think I see some regular crabs. What do I see? Nope. Oh man, that was a good that was a good haul. That was a really good haul. You guys see them? That's a handful of sand fleas right there. Handy full. Get them in there. Oh. Oh, they try to escape. They are escape artists. Man. That was a great one. So I don't think I need to go out as, in as deep a water as I was going. I think I could stay here in some of this softer, shallower water because this is a blowout tide. Like this tide is seriously blown out. It's probably going to start turning around, coming in soon. Um, so definitely uh, come on out of there, please. Come on. Man, they get themselves anchored in them little corners or nooks and crannies and man they don't want to come out because i don't i probably wouldn't want to either if i was fighting for my life oh let's let that wash out so here's one right here that i speared so we're saving him let's see can you guys get down there and see without getting uh without me getting totally soaked all right got a couple of good ones there guess we got a, a lot of good ones about five in here there's three good ones i got one in the corner because there was some sand and they go right for the sand they buried themselves right in that sand oh this guy got himself in the corner i got you you ain't getting out you ain't getting out you ain't getting out the other one we'll let him go some good mojo this is like man this is like an easter egg hunt for adults birds and they all just ran these little piper looking things they all just ran down here we're sticking her little beakers in the in the, the sand as this the, the tide ran out so let me see if i you know what are they eating they're eating sand fleas <laughs> sunny days Sweeping the fleas away. Follow the birds. Follow the birds. Follow the birds out in the water. Follow the birds up here on the beach. I speared him and I speared him. Another good one. Another good one here. They're eating the sand fleas. So they're probably, they're small birds. They're eating the small sand fleas. But you know, where there's small sand fleas, there's the big sand fleas. What do you think? Where them birds at? There they are, they're back over there. All right. All right, let's take another swipe over here just for GP. If I swipe right around here. Let's swipe right here. Guys, follow the birds. I just, I think I'm on to something. The birds know. They know, man, they know. Them birds are so interested in this spot. They really were. <laughs> Come on, baby. It's like an Easter egg hunt for adults. 
Get these bad dogs in there. Woohoo! Let's see what do we got in the corner here. I got a nice big one in the corner and a fatty in the corner or a half a fatty. He's coming with me and the rest of them are going. I could use a fatty right now. Oh boy. So I'm going to work back where the birds are. We're going to go right where the birds are. Okay. I see where they're at. Oh, the little creeps. I see where they were though. And I'm hoping I can get right to them. How are you? Peace out fishing YouTube. Thank you. <laughs> well, they were right around here, I think. Some little birds, sons of guns. Let's try it. Uh, I think the birds might have, they might have pulled a 52 fake out. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I got them. <laughs> Yo, guys, follow the birds. Guys, how about this? Look at that. Follow the birds. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow, 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 follow. Wow. Oh, this is... Oh, no, I dropped them. Oh, you lucky little bastard. Oh, so upset myself. Guys, this is a big haul. For me, anyway. I know guys that are, like, really good at this are probably like, you idiot. But guess what? Free bait. I'll have bait. You know, Tog just opened up here in New Jersey on the first. Tog will eat these. You know, you know the sea bass will eat them. Yeah, obviously, you know the sheep head might pick at them. Although you need something real small for them sheep head. Although every now and then they'll they'll surprise you. But look at all these. Look at all these in the corner. Boom, boom, boom. Look at this. Look at that handful. Woohoo! Get in there. God, this bucket. I have to do better on my bucket system here. Okay. Oh my God. Oh. I need to get back to the gym. <laughs> and I need to find the fountain of youth. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Oh, there's all sorts of junk zippity bipping by my feet. Look at them all. Look at all these little guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I speared three of them. Right off the get-go, I got three right on the blade. Anything else in there? No. Uh, the one that I should keep. Look at them all. Wait, right here we go. There you go, guys. I want to keep this guy right here, though. I just, I like his size. Where's he at? Stay. That's actually the perfect ideal size right there. Uh, he's running for his life. There you go. He got a new condominium. Hang out in. Oh, they're coming up right up out of the, oh my God, right up out of the sand. Oh, I cut that guy in half. Jackpot. Jack's pot. You might think it's funny, but it's not. I just hit the jackpot. Come on, baby. Oh, these. Look at them. Guys, that's gold. That's gold. What this cost me was... And I took the Black Horse bike down here. I didn't even take, take the AC Expressway. So I didn't, even, I didn't even pay tolls. It just cost me gas. You know? cost me gas but I got I got bait for multiple trips out multiple trips here's a half a decent half one all right got this guy here let's go you've got to come with me there's one more good one in there and he's got himself buried in a corner got him and we got him So guys, here's the thing. One thing I want to tell you, if you're going to be in the water looking for these things, especially if you want to see them running, you better wear your polarized glasses. So while this is receding, I take a step and all of a sudden they start popping out. Well, now I got a little bit too much water here. Let me back up a smidge. All right, this water's going to run out. I should be good before this other 
take a step man take a couple steps you start seeing the little guys popping out and running there they go get in there and get them because i think the little guys bail out before the big guys do yep oh i just missed i just dropped them but i got a bunch in here that's what those birds were going after that's why those birds were chasing chasing the water the receding uh the waves there's two there's three get in there but wear your polarized glasses right and uh get in a, i'm on guys i'm in like ankle deep water right ankle shin deep water and wait for you know, all right this is this is pretty you know thick waves right here this water's deep so let this water recede a little now i can see through before the big waves come in start step step see if you see them taking off on you here we go there's one there's two right on the blades let's rinse got anybody else in there yes we do one more keeper and is there a half uh, not a good half okay gosh look at this osprey this osprey holy shit that osprey just got he's just in the wave just got hit by a wave he's going after fish that are in the water man that was awesome he just got hit by a wave that so the tide's coming back in these waves picked up since i got here what i'm gonna do is i want to back up a little bit especially because i'm getting wet my pants is getting wet oh i almost lost a flip-flop hold on we got to re reset here i lost a flop And we're gonna rinse these out real fast. Let's bring this up to here. Let's bring the operation up here. I almost lost the flip-flop. Let's get a reset and we'll wet that flip-flop here. Boop, boop, ba -doop. This is what I was using, guys. I was using a kitty litter scoop, right? Sounds silly, but this is what it worked. It worked because I didn't have a basket. Let me rinse my flip-flops and then we'll go from there. Because what happens is these things, they keep urinating and urinating and urinating. They like just non-stop. So they're urinating all over each other. So we're just going to put this lid on here a little bit. We're going to let this water out and then I'll put some new water in. Let's let the water out here. This way if anybody get, creeps out, I can, uh, I can catch them. Oh, I can hear them in there creepy crawling around but there's they urinate guys they're constantly urinating so you want to rinse them off you know get these rinsed okay take this back off <sighs> huh sand fleas sand crabs remember when we were kids yeah remember them? i got a couple of regular crabs in there but i'll tell you what my man they are such great bait bait yeah oh, really cool. good bait yep yeah really good bait so yeah. instead of paying for them right might as well catch them yeah. just sit my fat ass on a hat on the couch all day long right <laughs> enjoy your summer <laughs> guys like yeah that's right you got a fat ass bob <laughs> oh boy all right let me get some water in this get some freshy fresh ouch Oh boy, uh oh, I lost the sand flea. I got a little overzealous with the water. Let's get some of that water out of there. All right, so I just kind of, I don't want to say perfected, but definitely worked on a little something here. Where's the sun at? Look at this, look at those. So as I'm walking, I'm just watching where are they, you know, as the, top, the, the water recedes, as they start taking off right and they do they, they bail out they bail out of the sand like in in masses well i go right to where they're bailing out and it seems like the little ones bail out fast and first and the big ones kind of lag behind so actually have, look at all these little ones half a big one there's a de decent one 
There's another decent one. It's just easier to do it this way. Trying not to waste the ones I killed, like you're cutting half. All right, these are all, if you look at the rest of these, they're all kind of small. All right, so we're gonna let them go. Now watch, guys, watch how fast they go back into the sand. You let them go. Look at these little guys, look at them bury themselves. See you later, hasta la vista. They're gone, right? They're gone. There's a couple halves in there, but they're, all, they're, they're just not worth it. Oh, that one might be. Still got a little wiggle to them. And they go right back into the sand. All right, let's go find some more. I would not see these if I didn't have my glasses on. I can almost guarantee that. If I didn't have my uh, polarized lenses on of some type, I wouldn't see them. Oh, stay here, please. Jackpot. Jackpot. Guys, that's the way to go. Look at them running. Look down in the sand, and when that, that water recedes, right, they are scurrying. I don't know, man. It's like the little guys are giving up the big guys. Big guys are holding tight, and the little guys are bailing. They're heading for the hills. Okay, here we go. Nice. Let's see what we got in the old bucket. Come on, baby. Come on off, let's go. I got a nice crab in there. Look at these, look at them. It's Jersey gold right there. Jersey gold. Guys, I, I probably won't have to do this all next year if I keep going the way I'm going. You, know, you can do this as long as the water's warm. You know, they're still, they'll steep, still be where you can get to them. So, the water's, you know, September. Water's still half decent. We still get to them. All right, it's gonna be my last scoop, I think. My last, uh, my last hurrah. Walk back out here, getting about bank, about shin deep water as that tide comes in. All of a sudden, I guess they hear me. They feel me walking, which they absolutely do, man. Them little ones just they head for the hills. Here you go, right here. Wow. So I speared two, three, four good ones. There's four keepers. Let's rinse this out, see what we got in there. There's four keepers right there. They go in the little bucket. And then bring us up so you guys can see what we're looking at here. Okay. There's a couple good ones. Let's try to take some of the bigger ones now. Focus on bigger for the last couple scoops. You know, I found something that's obviously working with these guys. And uh, I'm getting more quality, you know? Getting a better quality of uh, a crab. Look at them. Oh, 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 we got a, oh, oh, escaping. And they're in there. Water recedes, man, they just take off. Show yourselves. Aha, <laughs> see ya. Mm, oh, I didn't say any good one. Oh, this is an actual excellent, excellent one. One, two, three, four that I speared. There's four right there that were hung up on the blade. And we got a couple good keepers in there. Let's bring the keepers down to this corner where I can get to them. This guy's holding. Come on there. One, two, three. Come on, baby. Four out of there. There's five. Five good ones. Five good ones, and I just got wet nuggets. Alrighty, righty, B-Stab Fishing Nation. That worked out really well. I'm down here in Ventnor. It takes me about 40 minutes. That took me a little 45, maybe to an hour if I jump on the expressway and shoot down. I took the Black Horse Pike down. So, I didn't uh, spend too much, too much on tolls. Not a whole lot on gas. I got my little beater car that I took down, my beach beater. And, uh, got plenty of plenty of bait that will probably last me right into next year so it's a good time good time like subscribe say your prayers to the man upstairs 
get out there and go catch yourself some bait. Take care. Would help if I told you how I was going to save these things, right? So long and short, there's so many different ways to do these. Um, you can blanch them, right? Boil some water, throw them in the water for about 45 seconds to a minute, pull them out of the water, put them in an ice bath, get them to stop cooking, leave them in that ice bath for, ah, I don't know, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. And then you could bag them up, bag them and tag them. Um, I was uh, just getting them, pulling them out of the, uh, pull them out of the bucket, out of the uh, cooler when I go home, not blanching them and putting them right in Ziploc baggies. Actually, that's what I'm going to do, right in Ziploc baggies and freeze them. Try to get as much air out as possible. I was uh, vacuum sealing them, but to be honest with you, uh, I find that I was, because my bags are big, my vacuum seal bags are big, and not, not for nothing, they're not cheap. So uh, I was kind of wasting crabs. So now I got a bag of like 200 Ziploc baggies, little sandwich baggies, a little thick enough that they'll, you know, they'll hold up in the freezer. And uh, I put them in the freezer. This way I have plenty of bags, plenty of crabs. I could take a couple with me. Um, and uh, open the bag up, take out what I need, put them back in the cooler. And if they don't completely defrost, I could put, put them right back in the freezer when I go home. So, you know, you gotta conserve. Try to make the best of everything, especially if I'm gonna kill all these. Uh, I don't wanna waste them, right? Okay, guys, like, subscribe. Yeah, do me a favor, stop whatever it is you're doing. Are you eating? Put down that piece of pizza. Listen, if I'm asking you to put down pizza, this is important. Did you hit the subscribe button? Tell a friend, say your prayers, safe travels. God bless you, God bless America, go fishing. Oh, I hate sand. Uh.